Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another video. I feel like we haven't done one of these in a while. Well, we just sort of sit back, well we don't sit back, we, we sort of just enjoy building together. You know, I used to do a bunch of Let's Build uh, series where we just literally jump in the game, start building, real time, having a chat. I don't know what I'm going to build. I'm going to build this and then I'm going to build... Okay, yeah, you know what, I'm going to do that. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm going to do it. Uh, and we're going to see what we come up with. Because, I, I don't know, this this was like, I feel like this is almost a staple that this channel was founded on. So yesterday we did the video on um, the sort of 10 year anniversary of this whole situation here. And one of the early series, at least when I sort of took over the channel, uh, one of the early series I did was a Let's Build a House series. And that was actually pretty popular back in the day. So you know what? I kind of miss it. And I, I felt like we should do something like that again. Just really throwing back to the olden days. You know, the good olden days. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. I don't know what I don't know what this is. It's, it's going to be a house. I can tell you that much. It will be a house. But um, what kind of house? I can't tell you that. Uh, by the way, this is how you do foundation. I feel like every time I do a build video now, I need to just tell people foundation is there because people still don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's where it is. <laughs> so that's where it is. Okay, front is looking interesting. I don't know if that I would call this a very homely home, especially it doesn't seem... I feel like the scale is out. Like this, this balcony and porch seems way too big for a house of this size. So I might actually, instead of having it like this, bring this forward... I like the half wall dearly though. I like I liked having the sort of half wall set up there, so I might change that one to a half wall. It might look weird now, and you would be absolutely correct. But just you wait. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Sure, let's do that. Okay, then back over this way, around the back of the house, this because it's not very big. I, I decided to do a small lot because obviously if we're doing this real time, it'll be you know quite a hefty video. So I don't want to go like too crazy on uh, the size but uh, I think what we need to do is maybe just have a little bit here just a little smidge no a little less than that just to there because then that will line up nicely with the front of the house then we can even do like a little porch here at the back uh, so what I'm doing basically I don't want it to be a rectangle I, I feel like every side that we look at this house I want it to be interesting I want there to be something a little bit different well not different but something that isn't just a big flat wall not that there's anything wrong with flat walls in the right place they can look really really good but in this particular house I want to have it be kind of interesting I'm doing obviously a very modern home that is my favorite style after all that's what that's what I love to build so what I want to do as well is I'm gonna just bring this up to the height of the foundation here which actually I could have done it with this guy, couldn't I? How do I move? Oh, that's how I do it. Um, <laughs> I like I'm asking, it's like, how do I do this? Uh, so in case you're wondering, I just did a few little keyboard shortcuts and all this kind of stuff with uh, the terrain tools. Uh, I did do a terrain tutorial uh, a little while ago that sort of goes through all of that stuff and tells you how to use it all. Um, or just in case, you, as a heads up, if you want to know, if you go into lessons and then you go down to build mode, then I believe in here, terrain manipul- Oh, did I go past it? It's in here somewhere. Terrain- Oh, it's like the third one. Terrain manipulation. This will actually give you all the keyboard shortcuts as well. Actually, I don't know if it gives you all of them. It gives you most of them and tells you sort of what the tools do. So that's a really handy thing. There are lessons in the game and they do actually teach you things, which is like unbelievable because I don't know. I feel like most games don't just don't have that kind of thing in them. Uh, like back in the day, <laughs> back in my day when games used to always come with um, manuals and that do you remember that they, they always came with a manual and they would have like all the the sort of maybe shortcuts or like cheat codes or whatever in the manual and that tell you how to do stuff but i mean games really don't come with that much of a comprehensive manual anymore so it's nice that it's actually built in the game to that degree i think the worst offenders of that are probably like indie indie games you know especially oh early access indie games you jump into those and you're like what the hell is this and it like doesn't tell you how to do anything and you just got to make it up as you go and try and figure it out no that's not going to be a solid wall i think i might actually leave that open and then do a hedge here um just like this there you go i don't know i'm in kind of a, like a little bit of a throwbacky kind of mood you know so that's why i'm enjoying just having a chat just it's all sort of old school hanging out having fun I don't know about that. I don't, I, what am I doing with this? I don't know. It's, it seems kind of weird that it just stops there. Uh, I don't know. We'll work with it. We'll work. I don't really know what's going on with this. All right. So this is going to be a modern home. I, I want it to be like the old school modern style I used to build back in my day. 
Uh, back in my day, we used to build houses with flat roofs. Um, yeah, they were pretty good. I don't know if I want it to all be flat, though. I think what I want to do is have that bit like this. Don't worry, that wall will make sense in a minute. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, actually, no, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what I was trying to decide between is, so uh, I've got this wall here, obviously, so I did that first. Now, I was going to combine that with the good old uh, sort of lattice work fencing, where I do this. Um, and, but I was deciding whether I wanted the lattice here or there. I decided here makes more sense. Just like that. So we have this sort of situation there. The middle, I, I'm not sure I'm liking this design anymore. I think we might need to put a column there. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, she goes all right. She looks pretty good. Uh, we get a little bit of flooring up here just to cover that big gap. Okay, that's looking good. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. Now around the back, uh, yeah, I was wondering maybe we do, maybe we do a roof, just at least on this bit here. I think maybe here would be good, along this stretch of home, and then we bring it right on down, bring the eaves right on in. Uh, oh, actually, I don't know if I want to do that. I was going to do a glass roof. You know what? You know what? We will. But I don't want to do the whole thing to be a glass roof because it always looks really bad. It looks really bad if you do the whole thing like that. So I think what we'll do, copy that. Middle one, maybe even less than that. Maybe this. You know what? This one and this one will be glass. And then this one in the middle won't be. Oh, yeah. This is going to look good. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's keep it on. Let's get up. No, that looks a bit dirty. Let's get this one. All right, so we got skylights there. Looking good. Then, oh, hello, walls that are glitching. Hello, hello. What are you doing here? You're not invited. Uh, then what I was thinking of doing, not those, uh, was putting in, I guess, th these. You know what? Actually, I might do these windows. I think these might look better. Move objects. Whoops. Hey, also, so, I don't know. I don't think people ever really ask. Um... <laughs> So I'm just going to tell you anyway, uh, when I do like this to enter move objects and I just type M like that, it's actually a mod that I have called Cheat Shortcuts. And I recently just updated my website, my because on my website I've got a mods page. Um, so in the link in the link in the description, where it just links to my website, if you go there and then underneath the sim supply in the menu, there'll be a page called mods. Recently just updated that so it will list all the current mods that I have in my game. And I, uh, the, the update that I made to it is that I will list previous mods that I used to have. Because a problem that I had was that um, I would always talk about these mods in my videos. Uh, like, even like, maybe videos that are years old or whatever. And then people would come along later and they'd be like, Hey, wh where's this mod? It's, you said it was linked here. Or like, the link is broken. It doesn't work anymore. Um, so then I just, you know, I put in the ability to, you know, put in old mods. Uh, which surprisingly was something I probably should have done from the beginning. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, the point of the point of me saying that is that um, if I ever talk about a mod, it will be on there now. Even if it's out of date, it's on there. And I, I mentioned that on the page. It's like these may be out of date, so just as a heads up, um, you know. Actually, I don't want to put that there. Do I want to? No. You know what? I'll just have the windows there. I'll just have those as like the skylight ones. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> is it? Yeah. yeah nah. Yes, no, maybe. It's kind of okay, I guess. It ain't great, but it's we'll have to do. Um, can I make this a different color? Whoops. Ah, wait, that that swatch color is so much lighter than what it appears. What what is this? Look at that color. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> does that does that swatch match? Wait, where is this floor? I just cloned it, but I don't even know where it is. Is it down here? Oh, it must be one of these. That, wait, hang on a second. This doesn't even have that swatch. <laughs> wait. There's just this weird additional swatch, which is like... It is It is actually a different color. It is actually a different color, but that... Yeah, anyway. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, I might use this. No one will not. That looks so stupid. Um, maybe just... I'll do that one. I don't know if I want to do the, the sort of corrugated roof stuff. I might just go, we got like a black, oh, that'd be so bad though. If you had the roof that was black, that would attract so much heat. It would be so hot. You know what? Can we just do like, let's just do like regular concrete. Uh, cause, cause that, you know what? No, no, let's do grass. Probably not all of the roof though. Cause I feel like that wouldn't make sense. Okay. Here's what we do. We do grass on part of it. Then we get out clean. No, we get out this one. Yeah. These like little concrete tiles. So we're just gonna go like this. I'm gonna line around it like this. Oh, like that actually. 
Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So then we have like these two sort of grass patches in the middle. And then maybe this can be like that. And this can also be... I don't know if I want to... Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I do want to do this. Good idea, me. Thank you. I know. Sometimes I have good ideas. I don't know if I want it all across that bit. I don't think that bit's necessary. You know what? I'm going to change this bit. I don't like that bit. <laughs> bad idea, me. That was real bad. Who thought that was a good idea? Not me. I said no. Uh, only problem I have with this is I would love this wall to be here as well. But because of the roof slant, it doesn't like quite line up. Um, it doesn't look great. That's why I wasn't really sure what to do with it. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a flat piece of flooring. And the flooring will act as the roof. And the roof is going to stick out a little bit further than where the actual room is. Because then that will give us a little bit of detailing on the build that is a little bit more unique. Not going to use those though. I'm going to use um, that column from the front. Whoops. Column from the front. We're going to put it here. Here. No. Oh. I, think, I feel like four is too many. That's too many. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. Screw your rules. I'm going to do it. I think it looks good. <clears throat> okay, that's going to go there. Uh, then... It looks weird that it just stops there, though. But you know what? You know what? Oops, I don't know where I placed that. Since so I just put that there. Cap it off. Oh, yeah! Look at that! That's good. Now we're talking. This is kind of weird, though. I'm not changing that, though, so it's going to stay. <laughs> that's going to stay. Okay. <clears throat> this flooring is definitely changing. Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick as well. Like, I've been... I've been trying to get over this stupid cough from when I traveled recently. It's mostly gone, but I've still got to clear my throat every so often. So I do apologize for any annoying sounds like that. Okay, this is getting somewhere. This is definitely one of these weird little modern homes that I like to build. Uh, definitely not something that you typically see in your everyday life, but it's something that I like building because it's a bit of fun. Okay, so we're going to do that half wall there. We're going to get out a door and we're going to go for a... I'm actually trying to keep most of this base game. However, having said that, uh, I realized that this column is not base game. That's from get together. So maybe we can use a get together door. Although I don't think any of the, no, or we can just use the base game door. I don't think any of those are really that modern though. Hmm. <sighs> I don't think that we're going to have a good, yeah, all, those get, all the get together doors are pretty garbo. Or I, I don't want to use a big glass door because that, oh wait, no, this is get together. Oh, I was like going to use this and I was like, oh no, I won't use that because I want to keep it pretty light on the packs that we're using. This is from get to get. No way. No, I love this door. It's one of my favorite front doors because it's like modern, but it's like still quite private because it's mostly like covered. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. All right. So then this is just going to be, is that too many like tiles at the front there? I don't know. Here's what we need to do. We need to, we need to wall this place up. Wall this baby. Wall it. Wallet, 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 wally, wally. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is what happens when I just have to talk while I build. So this is obviously stuff that we kind of do on live streams as well, like where I will just build and, you know, uh, chat along. This is kind of like that. Um, why is it? I thought it flattened that corner out. Get out of here. Um, I was just trying to see. I kind of, I do kind of like the darker color. I don't normally go for the darker color. Uh, I don't know. It's a little darker than I wanted it to be. You know what? Can I get like, is that like, oh, you know what? I want to know. I don't want to, I know what I want to use is what I'm trying to say. If I could speak properly. Uh, is, where is it? Where is that concrete texture that I want? It is the one that looks weird. Is it this one? Actually, this is kind of nice too. I like, does this have a brown? Oh, it does. Uh, it kind of looks like dirt though, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe a lighter brown. Hang on. You know what? I might actually use that. So this is not going to be the whole, this is not going to be the color for the whole build. I'm just sort of applying this as a base and then I'm going to add the concrete in as well. This is not actually what I was looking for, but yeah, I like that. Okay. No, what I was looking for was that we, this one here, I don't know why the default thumbnail is always green. It's such a weird one to default on. Um, maybe the white one. So it's a little bit brighter, more contrast. Hmm. Actually, you know what? That's not as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you know, that's not, uh, it doesn't quite look as good as I thought it might. Maybe this one here, actually. Uh, no, you know what? This is starting to look bad. Um, hmm. I think I've shot myself in the foot. Uh, you know what? Let me go back. Maybe that was better. Uh, 
I like the texture that's, yeah, it's, it's nice because it's smoother. Okay, now we can we combine this one with tiles, maybe. And actually, you know what? No, I don't want to use another pack. Let's try, again, let's try to keep it, let's try to keep it, let's try to keep it basic. Maybe we combine it with these. These I quite like, they kind of work, they kind of work. Oh, like the gray sort of slats. You know what? Oh, the front door, that doesn't look good. Maybe on this bit here of the build though. So if we put it on this section of the build. And then maybe leave that bit, but then do this bit. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. So then that bit, yeah, I like this. All right, so I'm going to paint this bit here. The, the, so it sort of matches up with that, and we'll do the inside of it as well. And then that bit can say the brown, because it matches with that. I might change the white trimming. I don't think white trimming makes sense anymore. I think that probably look better if we did it as a black trim instead. Okay, I was trying to clone this, but that's fine. To each their own. Uh, can I just... If I could just do all of it at once, that'd be great. <laughs> outside of the- how is that outside of the boundary of the lot? What are you talking about? Anyway, I got all of it. <laughs> just by spamming click, that's how you get it. Um, alright, so then these all need to change as well. Uh, is this quicker one by one? Now, I realize I've asked that while doing it one by one, so it definitely is quicker now. But anyway. <laughs> okay, and then this one. Yeah, this is- this is good. I think this is working. I think this is working. Now, something that we could do instead, which I'm thinking might be a good option, because I think I can apply this. I can apply it there and then get rid of the fence, but I can't do it on the inner bit. No, okay, never mind. <clears throat> I was gonna say we could replace these and try to use floor trim instead, but it's actually kind of hard to get it to work how you want it to. Um, it doesn't, because these are technically like interior sections, so it doesn't really work that way. All right, well, whatever, let's go here. Uh, so we're just going to put these down on top of these. Again, I don't know if this is the quickest way to do it, but it's the way I'm doing it. So just get over it. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's get this trim. That also needs to be recolored. Okay. Oh, this. Ooh, yeah, we need to do that bit because that's all like the wrong color now. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Wait, why is this? So this one here, we could do exactly what I was just talking about. Um, I don't know why this one ended up different than the other one. Now, oh, that's from get to, ooh, that's from get to work. I wanted to use, so here's the thing. So what I'm talking about, we've got floor trim here. If we use this smaller fence, the floor trim will stay there, I think. And I could even use this one so it even matches. So we have to have a fence there. So there'll always be a fence there, but then you have like, at least that trim like matches up with that trim. But I'm not sure why it's not sort of worked that way over here. Are these individual- Oh, you know what? It's because those are- Yeah, yeah, it's- it's- okay. It's because they joined to the- this, um, roof, but they're not closed off, whereas these are closed off. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Alright, let's just go back to the original, because otherwise it's gonna start looking real messy. I want the front and the back to match, so we'll just do the sort of similar kind of thing with that. The trimming that way. Um, this is strange. I'll just trim the front of it. Oh, that's kind of weird though, isn't it? Brown? Ooh, good lord. Ooh, god. Oh no, you know, we'll just do a black trim, because otherwise it'll look weird. Uh, I think we're gonna have to take it all the way around though, otherwise it won't really work. Just so it sort of does the whole, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you know what? That's looking good. I think the outside is actually pretty good now. These mega basic stairs, do we want to go black on them? I like how I was originally like, yeah, black is going to attract so much heat and all that. I mean, it will. Uh, I, I've not changed my opinion on that. It will attract heat, but we've ignored that and just done it anyway. <laughs> we've ignored that and just gone with it. It's like, nah, whatever. Whatever. Can we do this? Darker gray might be better. Very nice. Very nice. You know what? We really need some, well, you know what would really be good if we could just paint these so they match the walls, or if we can get like stilted foundations like we had in The Sims 3, that'd also be great. So thank you, please add that. Now, uh, I'm thinking of leaving that door white, because I feel like if we make it darker, it's just gonna, uh, I, think it, I, I think I like the door sort of standing out a bit more. Uh, it's kind of centered, which I don't know if I actually like that. It might even, there's not really anything else you can do with the door though, actually, so never mind, forget that. I was gonna say maybe move it over, but then I think it'll look really dumb, so forget it. Um, forgetty, mum's spaghetti. Alright, so we're gonna use the white trimmed windows, I think. 
Or are we? No, you know what? I won't. I was going to do that because the door is wide, but I think the black dream windows will just make more sense all round, including up here. Damn it, these don't have black, so we'll go grey. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Now here, we'll have the windows there as well. That's a nice little section. I think if these just line up with those sunroofs. Oh yeah, that's cool. Because then you almost have like a band of windows. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now the rest of the windows. I just want them to be modern windows. This doesn't fit. This does fit there. Because uh, I don't think we actually need that many windows on this build. Let's have a look. So obviously it's very small. It's going to be a one bedroom home. There's no question about it. Where the bedroom is going to go is probably the question that we need to answer. I reckon this is a bathroom because that's almost like way too easy not to make a bathroom. Uh, so that will be a bathroom. Then we're just going to figure out where we're going to plonk down the bedroom, which I think almost has to go here. Uh, and then... Ah, oh, that front door is so strange. Because it's like I can... No, you know what? The, the bedroom's going to go at the back. That's easier. Yeah, that's much easier. Okay, yeah, because putting it... If we put the bedroom at the front... Um, I was almost kind of interested to do this layout where it sort of goes around like that, but the, the big issue I have is it just turns this into a big weird hallway. Whereas I think putting it back here, however big we want it to be, rather than this, this just being a hallway, uh, it kind of looks like more like one nice open space. I think this could be maybe the sitting area? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Now, actually, with this bit here, where are we going to do a door to get outside? Because... We don't have a matching single glass door because otherwise I would put it right here to match the height of that. And I can't put it next to it because it looks dumb. Uh, I can't really put it there because that's where the bedroom is and that's where the bathroom is. Hmm. We seem to have run into a slight issue <laughs> with the placement of the door. Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, right. Yeah, this is presented an issue. So we've got these, obviously, but they do not match in any way, shape, or form. It looks like you're like, oh, maybe it does match. But then you look at it closer and you're like, oh, wait, no, it doesn't. It looks nothing like it. Great. Okay. So the way we're going to solve this is by doing a little trick I like to call putting a hole here and doing this. I, I honestly, I'm just trying this. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. The idea what I, the idea that I have is that we just do a little cut in and have the door around the corner because then it doesn't look as strange in terms of like the height of the door. So I was asking if we put it there because then it's like on the side so you don't really see it. Like it is tucked away and then you can see it there but like it's much more hidden away than being flat out on the side we could even put it there i think even there it doesn't look too bad because it's like in its own little cocoon of um enlightenment i was gonna put an arch there but that would actually look bad uh i think eh, that's all right maybe we do that and then we can have a door to the bathroom there okay so that's looking pretty good i don't mind that now this build is one bedroom home i reckon we're just gonna go like wood flooring which would probably be like some sort of laminate flooring in a place like this. So maybe we go for some flooring that looks really good. Something like this. No. <laughs> Something like that. Flooring is all too... You know what? I need lighting. We need some lighting. Also, actually, a lot of people always ask me, how do you get infinite money? Um, if you just enter build mode from the map without a, without a sim, uh, then you just don't have money that you are limited to. It's a very interesting question that comes up a lot. Well, it's interesting that it comes up a lot, not, not an interesting question. The question is not that interesting. It's quite boring, actually. All right. Yeah, so now now that I've done the layout as well, we kind of know where we need to put windows. That bedroom is fine. We don't actually need any more windows in the living space. We do need a window somewhere for the bathroom. I mean, we don't need it, but it would be nice, I think. So I might just get, like... You know what? Actually, even that uh, that window I was looking to place was pretty good, like this guy here. I think if we just do this. Okay, can we go, like, lighter during the day something? Yeah, there we go. Oh, this doesn't have a black frame though. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe we could do like a toilet window like Deli had in one of her builds from 2014. That'd be good. <laughs> uh, or, 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 what if we do it around the back and do this? What if we do something like this? So then this is in height, in line with the height of the door. And the, does that look, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of windows around the back. And I think that looked weird. Did it look weird? Maybe it didn't look weird. Maybe that looks normal and everything else is weird. Maybe that's the issue with society. 
is that they think everything else is weird, but in fact, everything else is normal. I mean, weird. Uh, shut up. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's to the point where I'm just saying stuff and it doesn't really make sense anymore. No. Uh, no. Okay. This is going to go on the side. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to get this. I'm going to put this here. It's going to be one big window. You know, now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, whoa, whoa, James. That is on the side of a toilet. You've got a giant window. And to that, I say, don't worry. You can have blinds. And also, I'm trying to find the vertical slats, which I don't know where they are in this game or what they're called. Uh, and I was going to put those in. These guys. Oh, they're from City Living. There's the City Living ones and then uh, the... Damn. And then the uh, the ones from also Get Famous, wherever those are. are they, why are they not in this category? Why are these all... They're like the same item, but they're not in this category. Are they a wall decoration in the other one? Here they are. Yeah, so these ones are a wall decoration from Get Famous. Which actually... Th I think this is actually really cool adding on a window. Do you mind if I use this from Get Famous? I'm going to use it. I'm sorry, but I'm going to use it. Now I might as well use Get Famous stuff as well, because I've used one item. I might as well use more. Uh, or, or not. I could just not, and then only that item will disappear. Right, inside. It is a pretty... Wait, how much is this lot worth? $11,000. We might actually be able to make this like a starter home. Um, boutique starter. Sure, I don't know. Whoops, I didn't mean to press escape. Um, sure, why, why not? Okay, uh, wallpaper-wise, I would like to go for... This is pretty good. Really standard. This is like what you'd see in every rental ever. Is really basic, well, at least here anyway. Well, not every rental ever, that's a lie. Every new rental currently, this is currently the style, like real basic uh, in terms of colors. Like basically just, you know, colors that no one dislikes. Like it's so simple. It's like you don't dislike it, but it's like, yeah, it's not really that inspiring. That kind of feel, you know? At least it's what it looks like here in Australia in terms of color schemes. There's always black frame windows and like light flooring and walls. I don't know about those tiles. Normally there might be like a darker tile. Slate is very in. It also sort of goes in with the windows and all that. Right, door-wise, I really... Can you just please just... I will come to the Sim Studio and I will just make the recolors myself and put it in an update. Because I just want to have a damn, like, plain white door or a plain black door. Like, why is that so... Like, these doors, if... Honestly, if this door had... I reckon that frame is too big. Um, I'm like looking at my door now. Number one, the door frames are like flush with the wall, but they would be smaller and they're just like basically plain white and the door is plain white as well. Almost no texture. It's just a painted white door. That's all I want. This door is almost perfect. If you just did that, it'd be great. I will come and do it for you. Just just let me come over and let me come visit and I will do it. Okay? You don't even have to do it yourselves. I'll do it. <laughs> all right. Now, where do I want to put this? Because... I gotta figure out what this area is gonna be. I think we could go here, and then what I'm thinking is we get a living room, not a living room, a, ki a living room, a kitchen, out of these guys, the Blanco. No, we're not gonna get Blanco. Let me get um, let me get the kitchen stuff first. Fridge, that's oh, so ugly. But hang on, where are we at with value? Value twelve thousand. Yeah, okay, we we need to go cheap just because we need to be able to fit this all in. Um, so it's gonna come around the corner here. Nice, nice compact kitchen. Uh, it's going to have to be, this, I hate these. I, I just wish these counters had more like basic colors. Like if it was just white, it'd be great. But these ones are so expensive compared to them. 235 versus 150. It's like, I can't afford to put those in. I guess we I have to use, we just have to use these. Um, and then I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to go for an end counter. Because I can just sort of finish before the window. Lovely. And then we can actually put in a sink here. So this is interesting. Now you might not know this because I know some people, every time I do this, they're like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. So Sims can actually cut up food here on this corner piece. I don't know if they can use the end piece, but they can cut up here on a diagonal. So that's still fully functional. Also, I don't think this is going to be a completely cheap starter home because we are going to go over budget. That wall glitch is really annoying me. There we go. We'll be a little bit more hidden. How much are these, by the way? Because... 120. We might need to start saving money. These, I know these are expensive. 45. Uh, I mean, or we just sort of furnish it and you just got to pay the price. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, well, let's, you know what? Let's get a bed. Let's get a bed. Maybe one of these bad boys from here. Is that the cheapest double, double bed from base game? I think so. 
or get together. Oh. <laughs> oh, it doesn't really fit. Uh, okay. Okay, not not to not to worry, not to worry. Um I forgot this one. I mean it does it does actually it will actually fit. I'm just wondering here's what I'm wondering now. If we put it here at this end of the room or we might have to go to the other end of the room, but then that sort of complicates the windows almost. What if we do something like this? Almost have the windows mostly on that side. Get rid of a couple columns. Have the windows like that. Then do this. I don't know. I've completely just changed this whole thing. Put that there. I think they can still get around that. We'll probably have to test that, but... It's pretty squished in there. But that'll work. Uh, if it does. And I, the reason I moved the windows is just because... I don't know. I think it looks... Number one, I think it looks kind of interesting. Uh, but number two is that I don't want three giant windows looking straight onto the side of the bed. Obviously, it's right in front of it, but then we can, you know, do curtains or blinds or whatever. Uh, it sort of creates more privacy for around the back of the house anyway. I don't know. Just stop asking questions. That's just how it is, okay? Now, actually, we can save money on the lights. Let's let's reduce the light usage in this house. Because uh, what we can do is go into lighting. We go to here. We go to here. We go... Ooh. We go to this guy. Bring it all the way down. So this is the kid's light, which I have found, number one, is half the price of this guy. Uh, and also is basically the, uh, the, the, the next best, like really subtle light on a roof that lights up most of a room. Um, because obviously there's this guy that does a similar thing, but there's a very stylized light. Even if you scale it down, it's kind of like not great. Whereas this one is still like a ceiling light and it can sort of scale down, be hidden away and work quite well. So I'm going to get a few of these around the lot, uh, instead of having the other ones. Okay, so we're at 13825. You know what? Currently, we're still good. We're still good for starter home. You can still move into this right away uh, now. So door is there. I'm thinking we shove toilet at door. Toilet door. No. Toilet next to door. Toilet up here to door? No. Anyway, you know what? Where, where's the shower? The shower always throws me off because it has to... The shower's always on the left, so that needs to get, that has to go in a certain place. And I'm thinking maybe we just do that instead and then we have like a sink here. Yes. That makes sense to me. Uh, 14350 I, I hate how it... Like, all the cheap stuff is basically the same, like, in terms of, I always use the same stuff, because it's the cheapest, so we kind of need to. How much is this? 90 bucks? Okay. Sure, look at that. What, what a lovely bathroom. You know, it's such an inspiring bathroom. But here's the thing, you know, I think, I think at the very least I've created, like, an interesting house that, uh, on the outside anyway, that if you want to download, you could furnish it in a much more interesting way, like, if you, if you wanted to check it out and do it that way. So I'm sort of just giving you, giving you a little head start, at least with the, um, the layout, and then you can sort of do a renovation of it, make it look really cool and really good, and go from there. Now, as for the living room, I'm thinking, so obviously the front door's here, it's going to swing open that way. I think we go, it's either got to be, like, here, facing the wall, which I think is probably fine. It's a little strange with the door there, but there's not much we can do with the door. Or we have it sort of going this way, or I was going to put it here, but I think with that door, I'd much rather put, like, a dining table there. So I think I'll put it here. I don't think it's fine. It's sort of, it, it, it turns this little section here into a hallway, which is fine. So you sort of walk in there, that's a little hallway, all good. And then you have, like, a little coffee table. I wouldn't put it there because I'd block the whole room. I'd put it, like, here. Uh, maybe not that one. Can we do something a little, like, even though it's a 80, oh, no, there's a, I don't want to go, I'm, I'm trying to keep this pretty, pretty light on packs. Like I said, we did just get famous on those. I might, I might actually remove that just so we can go back to just get together and, um, and, uh, base game. Uh, I guess it's going to have to be this. It's just very uninspiring, isn't it? Maybe we can do a different colored wall. Oh, gray. Yeah. I know everyone loves my color schemes. What about like a... A fun wall like that. No, I feel like that doesn't suit the house though, because the house is so contemporary and modern. It wouldn't. It doesn't make sense. We could do like this, maybe something more interesting. Maybe even like could do like a an exterior wall texture on the inside. Maybe this one would be better. Because I think that that almost adds a bit of like grittiness and a bit of texture to it. I think that like, actually looks really interesting, especially you know what, especially. If we get greenery to contrast it, it will look pretty good. Ooh, this looks good. Hang on, I gotta go base game. I gotta go base game. That does not look as good. <laughs> it's darker. Uh, ooh, get together? No. 
Uh, let's see. Maybe if I go for... I reckon th even this is probably fine. You know what would look really good next to this? No, man, I want to use... I love these lights. Like, this light here... I don't know. I think that, that looks pretty cool. But anyway, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. We will use the other... My other favorite light, this one. Yeah. Here. Whoops. I think I just placed, like, <laughs> three of them outside. Uh, like this, and that's going to be, like, that color. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. I don't know if that should be under, like, going under the light or the light, the, the plant. Um, probably not. Maybe, like, here. Maybe more like that. And then if we get, like, a nice picture on the wall. Oh, we can do a TV, maybe. Can we afford a TV? 500 bucks? It's pretty... Oh, God. It's really ugly, though, isn't it? Four... Oh, Oh, God, you can't scale up. You know what? It's going to look better without a TV. Uh, it's going to look better without a TV. We can get a picture, though. Now, again, it has to be like base game. It has to be cheap. Well, base game, we'll get together. This is how many, like some graffiti stuff. Not graffiti, it's like posters. All right, base game, get together. What do you got for me? That's not base game. We'll get together. Damn. We are going to struggle. We're going to struggle because there's nothing good. There's these things. I don't want to get the white, I got the pink and the green, which I don't know about that. What about, what about me? It isn't fair. Uh, wait, how expensive are we getting now? Oh, there's only 400 bucks still? Okay. My, it's, uh, you know what? Maybe we're better off just not doing that. <laughs> Maybe we're better off just leaving that there. Okay. And then we go for a dining table. Uh... Just a cheap one. Just a cheap one. Uh, I really wish there was like better circular ones. Because like, I want like a little dining table over here. And then get together base game. Any good chairs from those two packs? Nope. Every single chair ever that I use is not from either of those. So that's great. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just have to use these. Now I wonder if we change the chairs to... Yeah. Uh, like a sort of darker color there. Just contrast it a little bit. Okay, let me just change the lighting. What do we got? Look, it's not the most inspiring furnishing I've ever seen. Uh, it certainly is not, but it gets the job done. It's 15469. So it's definitely still a starter home. Uh, and I might get rid of these, unfortunately. But what could we do to sort of still... I guess we just do a blind inside because that was a nice detail on the outside, but I think it'd probably be better if we don't do that, just so it's more accessible to all of you guys. So just do that instead. I'm not going to curtain the other ones because it's just going to end up costing too much. But we might be able to get like, can I get like a one of these? I don't know, just in there or something. Just so there's a little bit of green on the lot because it's very, it's very sparse. A bit of a shame. Might make that a little bit smaller. Put that here or something. There you go. It's beautiful. Then around the back. The back is also pretty... Can we get, like, a potted plant out here or something? Just, like, on the deck? Uh, maybe something like... Uh, what have we got? Just base game, please. Or get together. No, see, that doesn't... That, that style's not right. And that seems like... That almost seems like it's too... It's, like, too built up. Like, too permanent. You know? Maybe, like, one of the... And even that's... You no, know, Yeah, no. And that's not from base game. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. What is this? Oh, this must be from... Yeah, Lunar New Year. I like this. We could just do like one of these out here without the red envelopes on it. And maybe they just have like a little, little tree they're growing. Seems strange though that they would just have that out here. Yeah, you know what? Let's not do that. <laughs> that it seems a little strange that they would have that one out here. Uh, maybe just this. We'll get it over here. There you go. It's going to face that way. <laughs> That's kind of sad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. Eh, is it really helping us or is it uh, is it not? I'll just get another big shrub there. I think that like these are these are strange because it's just yeah you know, like it, like it says it's just a big bulbous bush. But I think it it kind of it's interesting. It looks like it's almost been like sort of cut into place just there. All right, we're fifteen eight four five four. So I'm gonna go uh, to here, get some dirt, just do a little bit of terrain painting because it looks a little bit too like green, too neat. Obviously, there's a little bit too much dirt there, so I'm going to reduce that amount as well. I'm going to go down a little bit, get some of this. Oh, that's still dirt. Some of this, you know. Let's make it look a little bit more interesting. A little bit more, give it a bit more depth so it's not just like a one flat texture everywhere. 
um, especially, actually, especially here uh, at the end of the stairs, because obviously people would walk there. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do bins or a post box. So we'll do that now. Uh, bin, 50 bucks. We don't, we really need an outdoor bin though. That's kind of more important. So I might just do this one. Uh, where would I do that though? I like to put it there, but it looks weird just on the front porch. Maybe it should just go. Oh, I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to put it there. All right. <clears throat> and then I'll figure out the mailbox. Mailbox. Just a normal one, please. All right. So this, you know, this will go. Maybe this can go there. It looks so weird though. Why? Why does this game have to have mailboxes? Uh, I wish I had just you could just sort of slot it through the door. Um, okay. Well, you know what? Why don't we do this? I'll reduce the size of the stairs because then it doesn't look as weird. And I can put that there, and then just put this here. I mean, it's kind of weird that it's like lining out in the front of the house like that, but sure, that'll do. Boutique starter. Look at this place. It's beautiful. One bedroom, one bathroom. Lovely. I think that's good for a little start home for a little let's build. It's been a little while since we've done one of these. It'd be fun if you guys are interested in doing like uh, longer form let's builds. Like we used to do, you know, series of these giant houses and be like 12 parts or something or even longer. Like we did the, we built a police, like the, the detective, um, or the, what am I saying? What am I saying? Police station. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word for police station. We built one of those uh, for The Sims 4. We did that as like, it was called Let's Build a Cop Shop. Uh, so I don't know. It'd be cool if you guys are interested in more of these coming back. Let me know. Uh, why did that fence there disappear? I think because I wanted it. Yeah, I think it looks better with it. So I'm going to put that back. Um, yeah, so let me know. Uh, if you want to download this, it will be on the gallery. Feel free to download it, renovate it, make it your own, make it look better than it does now. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.